tell me, what's your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is Lisa Ann Rader and I am with, I started a uh, rescue, pause to serve, rescue and service dogs. Um, rescuing dogs from Florida, Georgia and the south because um, I lived down there and in uh, Boca Raton, Florida for 11 years and got involved in dog rescue. And the south is particularly bad uh, for euthanasia wow. and for stray animals and abuse. Um, Actually, New Hampshire is the only non-kill state in the entire nation. Didn't know that. Yes. So, uh, up here in New Hampshire, this is just your own, your nonprofit? <laughs> yes. And we your are, own organization? We are an official 501c3. Okay. <clears throat> what exactly do you do? Do you, uh, are you just training dogs or do you help place the dogs with vets? What, <clears throat> the way that I'm doing it is I'm rescuing the dogs from these shelters and then they have to be vetted. And what what that, do you mean? Oh. What that means is um, the dogs need to be spayed and neutered. Some of them are sick. Um, they have to be get their vaccinations. Um, I just rescued two beautiful purebred male Rottweilers that are young from uh, Dallas. One of them looks like it has a dislocated hip, so we're gonna have to get surgery on that dog. Wow! And that's gonna cost thousands. Yeah. So you you definitely have to raise money too. Exactly. To in your business. Yeah. So how do you place the dogs? Do you actually place them in to vet to directly to veterans, or do right. you work with other agencies? No. I, I'm a lone ranger. I yeah. work for too many people. So if, if somebody in that's watching now that lives in New England or even in Keene here, yeah. um, and they were interested in in pause pause to serve, how would they apply and to contact? Well, we know how to contact right. you. How, how what are the stipulations? What are your qualifications? For okay. Her? So what the veteran will do is they'll contact me, and then I'll have them come out, and I will bring out each dog individually and see how the dog responds and reacts to the veteran. So there has to be a connection a bond, between, uh, yes, uh, yeah, I got it. there has to be that intense bond where that dog is loving that veteran and licking them and just hugging them. So and, that works, let's say they right. find a dog. And I've already placed a, a, a shepherd who was rescued from Florida with a veteran. And um, so what happens is, is that he comes to me three times a week. He's actually been coming two extra days. Right. He's been coming five days because he's gotten gung-ho because he's learning how to train his dog. That's great. Because I'm teaching him how to do the obedience and how to train it. So uh, we're going to allow the veteran to take the dog home, but I have very strict requirements of having a fenced in yard. If you don't have fencing, we'll help you get fencing. How fast is this before while you're doing this? Uh before they get to take them home. Sergeant Cook has been working with um, Heidi for six weeks now, and I'm just getting ready to let him take her home. We have to get the fencing. How long does that whole process six. take? It depends on the veteran right. and the dog. So there is no set. It's like no. you figure it out. No. You so I'm going to take the veteran through everything with the dog and teach them, and then they, the veteran and his dog have to pass the canine good citizenship test. Is this like a national? It's uh, through the AKC, the American Kennel Club. It's certain things that the dog has to do, and they get a certificate. The veteran and the dog get the certificate. Once they get that, then they have to pass the public access test, where we have to go out into the public, in public areas, stores, things, places where a veteran would be going. Right. And the dog, he and the dog have to pass these. So they got to work as a team and pass. Exactly. And then once they pass that, then I will register the dog as a service dog and it's complete. That's great. Now, um, is this all you do or do you have also another job? Do you, I mean, how do you support yourself? <laughs> um, I'm living off of my teacher's pension, okay. and I'm using my teacher's pension to pay for these dogs. So the name of the organization is Pause <laughs> to Serve Rescue and Service Dogs. If they're interested, if anybody's interested in donating, how do donating. they donate? Uh, we have. Um, they can send a check. No, but where to? How do they get in touch with you? Do you have a website? Uh, we are on Facebook. Facebook.com. Just on. We're on Facebook. And Just type in Pause to Serve. Pause to Serve, comma. Rescue and service dogs. And that we'll we'll get it up on the DV page. And well, that's great. Our email is pause to serve, all one word, and it's at gmail.com. I got it here. Here we go. <laughs> Ways to donate: one by check made payable to pause to serve, uh, rescue and service dogs. Mail to PO Box 365, Allstead, New Hampshire. 
Um, PayPal, use the send money to friends and family option to account pause to serve at gmail.com. For further, if you need any other assistance with finding out about this organization, contact us at dysfunctionalveterans.com. Use the contact form on the website. Now go, I'm not going to say because there's people present. But... <laughs> right. And what are the names of the dogs? This is Champ. Champ. Champ was rescued from Georgia. He was very sick. Does the Champ have an accent? No, he's got a New England Champ. accent now. And, and this, this one is. And this is Gracie, also rescued from Georgia. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, her partner, but she doesn't like to talk. <laughs> this is Gretchen. Gretchen hi. My friend Gretchen. <laughs> my right hand. Paul, oh, thank you so much for your well, time. You, thank you. You yeah, have a good one. Appreciate it.